Hi, this is Abram Pelch from Laptop Magazine, and we're here with Joseph uh, Junka, Joseph Junka from Tanagram Partners, uh, a uh, web development firm uh, showcasing uh, 3D sites using uh, the IE9 beta. Uh, so, uh, what do we have here? So, what we're looking at this is SkyBeautiful.com, and SkyBeautiful is a site dedicated to the beauty of the web. So, one of the things we love about what Microsoft has done is they've really said we're part of a bigger system. Right, We're giving you the opportunity to now render your own applications in an open language. Well, we as humans are part of a bigger system as well, and that bigger system is being portrayed here. What we've done is we've taken the European Space Agency's Hipparcos New Reduction Data, and we've calculated the parallax of every star and converted that to distance. So we effectively are representing a three-dimensional model of the universe as it surrounds us. Now, this qualifier is that in the 3D mode you're actually seeing it... Uh, uh, distorted because if I showed the pixels in light years, um, you wouldn't see them, obviously. But uh, um, we've spatialized it, and, and so what Sky Beautiful does is it, it runs entirely in the browser. There are the only services we have are images we're drawing from other people's sites. So NASA's picture of the day, Worldwide Telescope, a bunch of sites are referenced in our credit section. And what you can basically do in the site is you come in and you can navigate the stars through the constellations and not only learn about the mythology of the heroes and gods. Ironically, there are actually very few gods and a lot of crabs and microscopes, for instance. Uh, but, you know, we've got content sort of walking you through what each of these is about. We are also representing another cut of the way the stars are represented because we have distance. We're showing... This is, it's a, it's, you're seeing the distance from the sun for every star inside of the, uh, this particular constellation. So how did, so what uh, special features uh, do you have on the site that take advantage of IE9's new functionality? Well, first and foremost, GPU acceleration. We're doing 120,000 calculations per pixel on every, every star that's going through here. Not only are we determining which ones are being rendered, we're ray tracing them to your eyeballs. And then in the 3D mode, which I was which I'd be happy to show you here, you can actually, if you click on these glasses down here, it starts in the 3D mode. We're actually calculating that 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 ray trace and um, animating, creating double the pixels, 240,000 pixels. This thing is lightning fast using the GPU. Now I will say that fan is running here, but you know we didn't want to build something that wasn't going to challenge the system. What kind of hardware would you need to run this effectively? Well, you know what's interesting is it runs on netbooks, and it you know. GPU accelerated netbook is pretty darn interesting. We had some on demo here. I think we've got one over here, uh, and it's very usable. It's very interesting. So the baseline is very low. The, brow the system has been designed to go down to 1024 by 768, so it's extremely accessible. Um, now, I will say that Microsoft is the first to embrace the canvas in a GPU acceleration mode. So if you hit this on another browser, it's going to be slow uh, because it's doing a whole lot of math. But the news is, is everybody's going to be hardware acceleration, and Microsoft knows that. And they're really excited about kind of just being the first out there to say, look, this is what you can do. These are real applications.